I bought this KVM switch. It's made by JD Tech. Here's the box contents. So there's two sets of audio cables, two HDMI cables, the switch button, the actual controller with the cable, the actual switch, and the power cable and power adapter. And it comes with a very easy to follow diagram showing you the basic layout. So first I've connected both HDMI cables to my laptops. This one's work, this one's personal. I already had cables attached, but these are shorter, so it'll make it a little easier to manage. On the back, there's two HDMI connectors, one and two. I'm going to connect a third HDMI cable to the front. It says HDMI out. I'm using my own cable. Connect that there. And now I'm going to connect this one to the back of my large monitor. I'm going to connect my one keyboard that I'm going to share with both laptops to the front. And now connect my one mouse. It's actually a trackball to the other side on the front. Now you have two of these cables. This then plugs into the back of the switch. This plugs into your laptop. That's microphone, speaker, and USB to send the keyboard and mouse signal back to your laptop. So I'm going to connect this to the back and this to each laptop. My work laptop does not have the barrel connectors for audio devices and my personal laptop has a combined one which I don't use anyway so I left them unplugged. So at the computer end I just plugged in the USB connector. If you connected the barrel connectors for audio devices to your computer, you would plug the actual headset or microphone into, into those ports. On the side, I'm going to plug in the squarish USB connector, connect the other end to this little button switch. Now we have our power connector. Just plug that in there. This plugs into the side of the switch. This plugs into the electrical out. Number one is my work computer. Number two is my personal computer. And the keyboard and mouse are both functional. And I plan to disconnect this and put it behind the monitor. I just wanted you to see the setup. There are a lot of switches available. Some of them offer additional USB ports. I chose this one because it was an improved version and it had good reviews. So it has some customer history. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.